Okay, algebraic phrases is the uh, <clears throat> topic in lesson 30. And um, as with usual lessons, we have two topics in this, uh, in this lesson. And the first is algebraic phrases. And what we mean by algebraic phrases is when we have uh, something written in, in words. And what we want to do is we want to change it to numbers and symbols, or in other words, an algebraic phrase. It's kind of like a word problem, uh, uh, something that's written in words, and we want to change it to uh, math, symbols, and, and numbers. Now, before we do this, we've got to have a little understanding of some of the basic operations. And as you can see on the screen, I have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, the first thing I want to do here is uh, I want to write down what some of the common, what, what are some other ways of, say, uh, of something um, representing addition, for example. Now, um, the most traditional ones is we know that the uh, answer in, a, in an addition problem is called sum. And in, um, in a subtraction problem, it's called difference. And in a multiplication problem, product. And in division, quotient. I'm going to have to put that uh, down here a little lower. Now, these are other ways of saying or representing these oper operations. So if I asked you for the sum of 5 and 2, we would add 5 and 2. If I asked you for the difference of 10 and 2, you'd take 10 minus 2. If I asked you for the product of um, 3 and 5, you'd multiply 3 times 5. And if I asked you for the quotient of uh, 15 and 3, you take 15 and divide by 3. Now there's other, uh, other words, in fact there's many, many words that can represent all these basic operations. And I'm just going to give you maybe one or two for each of these. In addition, another way of uh, saying uh, to add is to maybe increase. So 5 increase by 7. Um, or total. Total means to add the numbers. Um, difference. Okay, so let's go to uh, subtraction. Difference is one way of saying subtraction. Uh, that's probably the main one. Um, or decrease by. So maybe decrease. And multiplication times would be another way to represent um, multiplication. Or to double a number. To double a number would means to, means to take two times it or triple a number. Um, quotient, or division I mean, quotient is one of them. And really there's uh, not a lot that we use for a division as far as other ways of representing it. Let's uh, get right to this, uh, this first example and really our only example. Now what I have here is I have one, two, three, four different uh, uh, word phrases. So notice these are written in words mostly. And what we want to do is write them as an algebraic phrase. So let's take a look at the first one. I have five times the sum of three times a number and a negative five. Now this is really wordy. I need to read it a few times and really to get an understanding of what it's saying. So we want to take five times the sum of three times a number. So I want to take three times a number and a negative five and take the sum of those. Now what am I going to do with that answer? If I did know what 3a plus a negative 5 were, what am I going to do with that? Well I'm going to take 5 times that. And I got to make sure that I have it in parentheses because when I take 5 times some value I got to have it in parentheses. If I didn't have the parentheses here and I just maybe use a raised dot like this, all I'm doing is multiplying it by 3a and that's not what it's saying. This problem saying take five times whatever the answer is to the sum of three times a number and negative five. Let's take a look at the sec second one. Product. Now, I'm in this one, I'm going to underline my key words. So I have product. I have sum. It looks like that's it. So now I'm going to read it a few times here to get an understanding of this. I typed it, but uh, right now i got to understand what the problem's asking me to do. So we're going to multiply. We're going to take the product of three... I'm going to multiply 3 times, because of the product, the sum of a number. So I'll use this time C to represent the number. The sum of a number and a negative 50. And I'm going to take 3 times, I'm going to multiply 3 and the sum of a number and a negative 50. So I'm going to take 3 times, or 3 parentheses, C plus a negative 50. 
And the next one, the sum of 5 times a number and a negative 13. So take 5 times a number. I'll use n for the number. Take a negative 13 and take the sum of those two. And finally, in the last example, 3 times the sum of the opposite of a number. So I'm going to take the opposite of a number and a negative 7, and I'm going to add those together because they want the sum of the opposite of a number and a negative 7. And what am I going to do to that sum or the answer? I'm going to take 3 times that. So I just went through some examples. Some of them are, are a little wordy. Uh, you really got to look at your keywords and you got to read the statement over quite a few times here so you really understand what they're asking you to do. So in uh, lesson 30, um, algebraic phrases is the topic or one of the topics for this lesson.